And we haven't done this for a while, but it's one of those things that came up when Ravy uh, posted on Facebook. So what what stuff have you heard on The Woody Show that you like that you just haven't heard in a while? Or uh, what do you think we should be doing more often? And one of the things overwhelmingly that came up was the Woody Show help desk. Yeah, lots of help desk. Which I'll, I'll give you my honest uh, take on. Number one, I forget about it a lot. Mm-hmm. Number two, <laughs> I just forget. And then yeah. uh, number two, when I do think about it, I'm like, well, we can't do it that often because I'm not sure how much people are really interested in our feedback. Yeah, like our feedback. I'm sure people are interested in other people's sure. problems. Right. Because people yeah. love hearing about people other love, people's problems. People love yeah. the hot goss. Yeah. But like as far as like, you know, I don't really consider ourselves to be any kind of experts, although we do have collectively a bunch of different and varied uh, life experience. Sure. Yeah, well, who cares about helping the people? Let's just use our problems for content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we uh, we had gotten an email one of the last times we've done the Woody Show Help Desk, and somebody actually sent us an update. Oh. On, oh, regard- their, on what they did on with their that? situation, yeah. All right. This says, uh, hey, Woody Show, I wrote you a few months back about my long-distance troubles with my boyfriend. I'm just here to send a quick update to let you know how things went. I know that you all said to end the relationship, but I was so afraid that I stayed in the relationship and I tried to force it. I kept lying to myself, forcing myself to believe that the good times were worth the bad. Eventually, he called me out and asked me point blank what I wanted, so I sucked it up. First of all, sucked it. Getting. Mm-hmm. And finally said that although I loved him, that we should break up because we just aren't on the same page and we had become toxic for each other. Anyway, it sucks and I'm sad, but the relief I felt afterwards also tells me that this was the right thing to do. Good. I'm sticking to Woody's breakup rule three days for three years. Then I got to suck it up and stop being a little bitch. <laughs> Also, Jeez. Seabass says, I'm now available for casual slamming, so Rip. maybe this is the start of my hoe phase. <laughs> nice. Do <Shout> that. <laughs> she says, uh, shout out to Tinder. <laughs> Getting uh, that hoe phase now. Thank you so yeah. much for your advice. Even if it did take me three months to follow through, I love and appreciate you all so much. You're actually the first people I've announced my breakup to. Hopefully someday I can meet you guys and let you know in person. Me love. P.S. Menace is a precious soul. Aww. Stop Aww. bullying him. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. thank you. Oh, jeez. Agreed. I get bullied Ready? every five seconds. Mm. Oh. Right. I can deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, Menace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you little Manny Winnie. <laughs> cool. uh, let's see what else we have here for you the Woody Show. Help desk. Here's one. Uh, Emily, who listens in Vancouver, Canada. What's up, oh. Canada? I have a lot I love of Canada, Canada. We do. listeners. Yeah. We do. Vancouver especially. It's wonderful up there. Uh, Hi, Woody Show. My help desk question is about my younger sister. I'm the oldest of six girls, and my 15-year-old sister has been acting like a little hoodlum. Mm. Uh Uh-oh. I overheard her and her friends talking about stuff they stole from stores, and just now I was putting her laundry in the dryer, and I pulled out a damp bag of weed. I'm 23, and our parents are pretty absentee, so she probably wouldn't wouldn't care if they found out. She clearly isn't being too secretive but I'm not going to narc her out. I guess I'm wondering what I can even do or if I should just let her live her delinquent years. Oh, jeez. She's also started going to raves and drinking outside of school, skipping class. The school phones all the time when school, uh, uh, when, when she is skipping. Weed is legal here in Canada. If you're over the age of 19, purchasing legally, that is. And I did all the same things as a teenager, so I feel like a hypocrite. Would Ravy narc out her niece or nephew if she found out about all these things? Woody, what would you do if your 15-year-old kids were acting like this? Thanks. Hashtag all in. Hashtag, you know, it's uh, Emily in Vancouver. Mm. Ooh, that's mm-hmm. tough. Because I, this can go, one, like mm-hmm. she said, one of two ways. This could very easily go to fast forward four years. She's yeah. the gathering of the juggalos. Yeah. 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 Missing, yeah. Half, the juggalos. missing half her teeth working at a gas station. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think just talk with her without anger. Yeah. You know? Right. That's the r- that's what I would try first, but my God, my brother and sister in law would kill me if they found out that I knew and didn't tell them. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, a, they'd be I thought, so yeah. pissed. I thought she was saying that they would kill her. No, yeah, for telling on them. Like, oh, you narc. No, I think they would be because you know, like, super pissed if I tried to handle it without them. Because you know those friends who say like, you know, I'd be pissed at you if you told me that my partner was cheating on me yeah, yeah. i'd be pissed if you like, didn't why would you be pissed at me yeah. right mm-hmm. I, that's why i've said all the time like anybody who knows me if you know something you tell me yeah absolutely yeah. Mm-hmm. i'm not For gonna sure. be pissed at you i think the hardest part about this is that if you know a 15 year old has to write a book report they think it's the end of the world and you want to let them know like hey you got it good right now like yeah they don't listen very well so it's tough to talk yeah. to them well, and it's also different because you said, what would I do if I found out that my kids, if they were 15, were acting like this? I mean, as a parent, it's different than as right. 
Like you're the as an aunt. You're the sister, and this yeah. Yeah, she's the sister, not mm-hmm. an authority figure. Yeah, like if you're the parent, absolutely, you should be all over that. Yep. But yeah, there's no one to go to here. But if you're the sister, absentee parents yeah, essentially just talk with them. Yeah. yeah, have a talk with her. I bring up gathering of the drug right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, show some videos. This like, is going to be you in five years. Pregnant with tattoos on your face. Yeah. yeah, maybe even make up a story that you got busted for shoplifting and it did not go well. Well, here's the thing. If it was like uh, just the weed thing, okay, I could like look past that. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm, an, if I'm the older sister. Right. But when you combine it with all the other stuff, yeah. I understand Missing school. Stealing. Yeah. Raven. Yeah, yeah, I, think, I think you definitely have a, a conversation with mm-hmm. her and then threaten her with something that you're going to go to somebody else about it. Hmm. That's a good idea. You know, like if you don't knock it off, but then she's just going to be more secretive around the sister. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Eesh. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey guys, so I know that you guys have mentioned how Menace has a credit card with great travel benefits, including a lot of redeemable miles. I'm interested in getting one, but there are too many to choose from, so I wanted to get your guys' advice on which would be the most worthwhile. Menace has one that works for him. That's the thing. There are so many different reward cards out there. You just gotta find something, like, Mm -hmm. you would use. I would say, all around, the best would be Chase Sapphire. Yeah. It's dope, right? You agree, Seabass. I, uh, I enjoy that one, but I have... Now, why is that one good? Because uh, you can use it for the... Uh, got hotels. It has got hotels. Yeah. Also, it... different airlines, because I do have another card, but I can only use it for certain airlines. Oh, really? Yeah, but yeah, the see, Chase Sapphire, you can use it for a bunch of different brands. I've got a Wells Fargo Visa rewards mm-hmm. card, mm-hmm. and so every point is just a point. And then you can yeah. use those points. They have a, a whole website dedicated to just, you know, point redemption mm-hmm. for all kinds of stuff from yeah. appliances back. to cash yeah. to mm-hmm. that's how capital flights, hotels, yeah. rental cards, cool. like whatever. You just say what you were looking exactly. for. And then you mm-hmm. put your dates in. Like if you want to use it for a flight, you put your dates yeah. in. It'll bring up all the available airlines and then what time, you know, the flights are. Yeah. And then how many points that'll cost you. And then you can just click and you're done. And there's it's there not e- for a specific. That's why I thought like, oh, well, you know, maybe like a Southwest card or something like that. I like but, that one. Or, or yeah. you know, like uh, But if you don't want to be go... too specific about it, then just do exactly. something like what you have. But like, my, so my Chase is like that, too. You could use it for cash, travel, whatever. And there, yeah. are, there are actually aggregator sites where you can plug in the cards you have. and It'll tell you, OK, that you can re- redeem your annual reward this time. Use this card at this point. Yeah. So you can like mix your know, hotel cards, yeah. flight cards, all that stuff. If you're going Capital huh. One, probably the Venture card would be good. Get a Visa black card, easy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there the you go, Simp. But you know, the thing is, you got to find like whatever it is that you're into. Maybe you don't travel a lot, you know. Yeah, so, or you yeah. don't care you about know, that. You just, you just want a card that's gonna, you know, benefit you in some other way. Yeah, you know? like Amazon card. Has Capital five- One, mm-hmm. you can get all these Amazon cards. Mm-hmm. Right. That rules. Just anyway, uh, that's from Lauren. She says, uh, "Thanks for helping me laugh every day. I work the graveyard two nights a week, and y'all keep me company throughout the night, so I don't feel alone." Oh, nice, babe. Aww, Love it's been all in. Uh, Woody Show Help Desk. Let's get another one here. Uh, how about this one? Good morning, Woody Show. I started a new job in the Bay Area and have been here for about two months now. Nice. Multiple times a week, my coworkers talk about how much they hate cops and have even shrugged off an innocent cop's death. Really? That's not an exaggeration. That's not cool. I'm starting to get fed up with it. I get there are bad cops out there, but they hate all cops because of a few bad cops is incredibly childish and naive. These are the same people that would scream hate speech at somebody yep. who says the same about Muslims or any other minority group. Just because there are a couple bad apples doesn't mean it's acceptable to hate all. Am I missing something? Why do they think that's acceptable while in their eyes every other group should be protected and never criticized? I was wondering if you guys think I should speak up and say something or just continue to ignore them. Ignore them. I yeah. say yeah. ignore them, number one. Yeah. And number two, welcome to the Bay Area. <laughs> you yeah. are going to learn that it's the most closed minded place on planet Earth. These are the same people that preach love, oh, resist hate, and they're the most hate filled, angry, violent people you'll ever meet. Speaking of the gathering of the juggalos, the F the cops was a common chant there. Uh, I, I would, sh- you know, <laughs> yeah. obviously you're not going to win an argument. You're not going to win. But maybe, no. like, I don't know, you'd expose them to, like, there's, cause there's videos now of, like, Cops, you know, saving people from burning cars, saving yeah. people from drowning, yeah, saving people from suicide. Yeah. It, it's politics. But Greg, you know, you're never going to change anybody's mind. See, for what you're describing, that is the city of San Francisco. That's the city yeah. of San Francisco. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're talking about. Not Absolutely. the entire Bay, yeah. you said Not, Bay Area. No, like, I mean San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. San Francisco, where you go to an Earth Day rally, and it's at the end of the day, it's covered in litter. Yeah. 
Like the city of San Francisco is the stain on the Bay Area. It is the worst. It's between San Francisco and Berkeley yeah. that it yeah. gets its reputation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I first moved to the Bay Area, I forget what we were talking about. It would be something like this, yeah. right? And people like they'd call the station. Well, this is the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and here we believe it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. So hold yeah. on. So you mean to tell me that I have to subscribe to your ideology or right. your like we're all the same? Yeah. We're open minded if you're just like us. Yeah, and I I agree with exactly what Brian's saying here. It is no different than saying that you know all like he's used his example is all Muslims are bad because there's a few mm -hmm. bad apples. And yeah. I don't know how cops do it these days. I really don't. No idea. But uh, Brian, keep your mouth shut. You don't yeah. want to, like. Why do you want yeah. to talk? It's not worth it. Why do you want to talk? Never going to change people's minds. Yeah, politics like or that, about yeah. hot button issues like that or whatever. At totally work. not worth it. You nope. know what I mean? Just these aren't your friends. Yeah. These aren't your and family it's a new members. Job. Just leave it, let it go. Yeah, just just leave it be. Just do what we do with Seabass. Just try to let it yeah, roll just, off your back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just ignore. He tries to goad yeah. you. Ignore. 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 Needle you. <laughs> just ignore. Just let it be. <laughs> yeah. Not. Worth uh, it. here's one. It says, uh, "Hey, Woody Show." Uh, I love you guys. I tell everybody about you, and I talk about your skits constantly. <laughs> Hell yeah, skits. skits. Obviously, Cart Narcs is the best. I love every minute of your show, and I normally don't like talk shows in the morning. I'm grumpy, but you guys always make me laugh. Oh, All right, babe. so here's why I'm e emailing you. I'm dying to figure out what SMDMM is about. Mm -hmm. And I think I figured it out, but I'm not sure. Can you just tell me what it is? I'll still be a faithful listener either way, and I would love to meet you guys someday. Please don't ever retire. Oh, jeez. Don't retire. Uh, love you. That's from Danielle P. To. Yes, my initials are DP. Even better, so are my husband. So you actually get double DP in the oh morning. Oh, my God. Ha, <laughs> ha, See, now she's fun. Yeah. <laughs> she's fun. I love it. She's fun. All right, so we share, obviously, a lot of stuff on this show. Probably oversharing mm -hmm. on this show. Now, there's one thing that we keep to ourselves, and it's a little inside joke, and it's the one inside joke that we have that we don't explain. And uh, it's an inside joke between myself, Ravy, Greg, and Menace based on a common experience. That's all I'm going to tell you about it because other than that, it's just our little thing. That's it's just it. like, uh, I mean, I guess everybody figured out like back in the day, there was uh, this woman, Carol Burnett. Oh! oh. And she had, yeah, and, and she had the, you know, a show, like a variety show sure. that she uh, that she hosted. And she would like tug on her ear and that was right. like a message to her mom. Yeah. And then everybody figured out what that was. And I, I kind of feel like that made it maybe less special. Yeah. Yeah. She told people too, though, right? I know. She that's did, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that she shouldn't have told anybody. Yeah. She should like, it was a special thing between her and her mom. And it was she to just... her grandmother, not her mother. Oh, it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same yeah. Yeah. Her grandmother. And uh, so, yeah, this SMD double M thing, we will never tell. Nope. So, I'm sorry. Maybe one day. I'm glad you're still listening, though. <laughs> and it's not predicated <laughs> yeah, on us yeah. revealing what yeah. that is. Maybe one day when it's our very last show. Retirement. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> no, but we can't retire. But God knows yeah, right. that our last show will never be from retirement. It'll be right. Yeah, yeah. it'll be because yeah. You, yeah, we, we can't. Retired. We won't know it's the last show. <laughs> <laughs> but, but. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done a last show somewhere knowing <laughs> it was the last show. Nope. So, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet.